Hi, I'm Peter Kalmström of Kalmström.com Business Solutions. In this demonstration, I'll talk to you about the site settings and most specifically the site settings of the first team site in your first site collection in SharePoint Online. As you might notice, the web designer galleries are very limited in the first site collection. Also, there is no possibility to save this site as a template, and there's a whole range of other features that do not work in the first site collection. So let's may I go into the settings on our admin here. We go, we're going to the SharePoint Admin Center and look at what settings are limiting this. So let's move into the SharePoint settings over here. Let's scroll a bit here. There we have the SharePoint Center there, SharePoint Admin Center. And there we have the list of existing SharePoint sites. And the default one is of course this one, which is yeah, the name of your company and then SharePoint.com. That's the first one. I used to call that the, the default site collection. In any case, that site collection does not have scripting enabled. If you create more site collections, those will have scripting enabled. So that means that in those site collections, you will get the full web designer galleries and all those things. So but you can change it. You don't have to remove and recreate this site collection. You can change that. And that's here under settings. And these are, of course, under the SharePoint Admin Center and settings. And scrolling down the bottom here, you'll find the custom script. There you go. Allow users to run script on uh, personal sites. That's the one setting. And here you go on self-service created sites. That's a very important one. That's the one that controls this default site collection. So if you change that and just press OK, then that will change. And it will take about 24 hours for that modification to appear. So that means that even in the default site collection, you can enable sandbox solutions and things like that also. Let me switch to another browser. And here's another default site collection in another SharePoint tenant. And if I go into site settings here, you'll notice that I can save this site as a template and I have the full range of web designer galleries, including the solutions. So that concludes my demo on how to get the full web designer galleries and enable scripting on the default SharePoint site collection in SharePoint Online. Thank you for watching.